Uh, it was my first car. It was a Volkswagen. Well, it was technically a, a Volkswagen Bug. It was a 1965, so it was like a four-seater Bug. It was painted orange, bright orange. And uh, the floor in the back was removed because of the battery acid was pouring out and had eaten through the floor. And so I had to put in this um, metal rack that I found from a shopping cart to hold the battery up so it wouldn't fall to the ground. But as you're sitting in the back seat, you could look down and see the ground under you moving. <laughs> I grew up in Hollywood and I had some friends that we would occasionally drive um, inside the car with the roof down. And we'd go up and down Santa Monica Boulevard and we'd yell at all the prostitutes. <laughs> and so it was really bad. But we'd throw things at them and scream at them and that's yeah, crazy. That's so we, we're just young, you know, high school kids with a car. I guess it would have to be the first car I owned uh -huh. because that's, you know, it's the first one and you're in high school and everyone needs a car when they're in high school. And if they don't, then well, they're lower down on the, the social chain. Um, and it was a hand-me-down truck and had lots of fun because, you know, having a car when you're young is, is awesome because you can take all your friends around. And I mean, we had the car for most of my childhood anyway, so we would always be hauling, hauled around in the back of the truck with like a, you know, one of those uh, covers. And uh, we would uh, kind of hide from the police when they looked in. I had the cover removed, so whenever we put people in the back, they had to lay down so they couldn't, somebody could see them. So we'd be hauling people around town and they'd just be like, you know, down on their back, in the back of the truck. A green Ford minivan that was like 1991, it was like really old, it was like 2005. So I went from thinking I was gonna be able to drive around her gold Volkswagen 2006 or something like that to having to drive around in this like super big green minivan. And I got, you know, kind of like, people made fun of it, but I was like, I don't care. It's like, <laughs> it's, the, it's the best car that a teenager could have. The real problem came in when my dad came back, because my mom and dad had like an on and off again relationship. And he came back and he kind of crashed the car up. And it was like the first time that I realized how many financial issues they had and how much turmoil their relationship was in. At the time, I really didn't really pay too much attention to it until that green minivan. And I guess, I mean, my dad, growing up, he had a, a GMC truck. I think it was a Sierra. It uh, has a flatbed, so it's an open in the back. He had enough miles on it where he, he, he basically could have gone around the world six times. On Saturday mornings, my, um, him, me, and my brother, we used to go to guitar lessons, kind of like sneak up in there because it was pretty tight. It was only three seats. So we'd go to guitar lessons and we'd go to breakfast every week. Um, and then every year we would go to um, uh, him, me and my mom, and then maybe my brother when he was a baby. He'd sit on our lap and we would get the Christmas tree with that. We'd drive to Connecticut and uh, we'd put the tree in the back, tie it up, and then uh, that's where, how we'd get our tree.